Hey everyone, Meow City here. We're playing other side again today and we're about to make a very bad decision. We're about to go fight the boss of the third era very early because of having lack of resources. And we're kind of at our options end and if we don't go fight her early, we're probably not going to have enough resources on the seventh day. So here we go. <laughs> We're going to have four daughters, so I think the best chance we're going to have is Blanc, Celeste, Hope, and Sincere. An argument could be made for bringing Mercy because more damage, but Sincere uh, mitigate more damage. Let's go. Farewell, daughters. It never ends. This is already dark. Look at that statue. She was all I had. And then I had nothing. Huh. Don't. Don't. Memories hurt. This is some somber music. Um, looking at the boss is the first thing we should do. It is the maid, 35,000 health. Does not look like she can be knockbacked, but no armor. Reaping slash three tiles in front of her, dealing up to 650 damage to the daughters in front of her. Increase maid's armor by 20 each time she is attacked. Interrupts the next melee attack launched by a daughter and deal up to 1225 damage to her. Oh, this is awesome music. Boosts the maid's resistance to delays by 15% for 65 initiative units when activated. After a delay, steals 1000 HP from all the daughters in the path of her scythe. That could be really bad. Changes phases after losing more than 20% of her health for the first time. Resets initiative to zero. Okay, we have a lot to look out for then. Let's get to this. This music says I'm either about to get my butt kicked, or I'm about to kick butt. It's fairly inspirational. You gotta give them props on the soundtrack. Bow of Chastity. Okay. I think that's the 20 armor every time she is attacked. And interrupt the next melee attack. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard to see the range here, so I think here, so one. Two, three. One, two, three. Fudge. That thing is really in the way. All right. I have a good idea now. So... I, I'm gonna just have to spam this. Shadow round in interrupting. And then Celeste ends. Blanc. She can actually hit almost from here. So, I'm going to have her do the same. So I don't know what 
what's in store for me with those uh, Let it begin. Armor up by 20. And we're just gonna have to keep removing that armor. Okay, so based on that, I go here, then... Alright. We're good. She can go here and still have 80. But we're also going to blacksmith's grace. And I think that's all I'm going to do for now. I don't think I need to save in grace. Didn't that interrupt? Okay. Accepting shadow, shadow. So we're going to repeat this with Celeste. Accepting can uh, still hit. I think her shot can hit too. And she's flanked. First transfiguration. Don't know what this does. So we're going to take advantage of her being like this. I really want to burst, but at the same time I know it's a bad idea. Oh! Why isn't that getting interrupted? That's what I want to know. Okay, so what's... Heals made each time a daughter moves. Okay. Forbidden love trips next range attack by a daughter and he deals up to 12. Okay. So. I'm gonna keep with the blacksmith grace. I suppose I didn't need to do that. This should lower armor.
Do I have an interrupt saved? I do. Okay. I should be fine with this. Forgive me for leaving your side. I thought... I thought I could bear witness to the child's soul. My heart bled for the girl who rotted, abandoned in the cellar. I lived her pain. What suffering put upon her. Her descent has transformed me. Forced me to grow and birth a new daughter. Huh? They will bleed for it. So I have a fifth daughter now? Technically a fourth type? <laughs> Go since you're not taking damage. Okay, this is bad. Okay, we, we have to look at what's happening and everything. Scythe Dancer is what we just unlocked. A lot of health, not much armor. Mole deals 900 damage to an enemy in a zone. The Stealing deal 500 damage and shred 30 armor, has a range of 3. The Reaping steals 85 armor and do 63 damage 12 times. What? Deal 181 damage and steal 30 armor each 15 initiative units up to 3 times. It's an action over time. Okay. And dance of binding. Interrupt the first action of an enemy and deal up to 1000 damage. So sh could she interrupt this? And then I have to what's all in the field. Judgment targets an enemy around each of the daughter's locations and after delay damages daughters still in the area by 900 damage. Boost made by four initiated units each time a daughter does something. I thought she did something else. We, we can deal with this. just out of range so we're gonna do this which I know is gonna move her up hope can finally maybe do something I'm, I'm gonna go for an all or nothing here now that I have the potential of maybe doing something. So first of all, we're gonna get rid of that armor. thousand damage a hit I don't think I need I don't think I need candy yeah that this is gonna take her out what's all that damage coming from well that was a rather long fight but interesting nonetheless and she comes at level 10. I can't believe everyone survived that. <clears throat> Blanc got us trait. Kind of surprised that she lived, though. Two levels ups.
What is kindness? She taught me. What is love? She showed me. What is loss? She died for me. I made her sick. And she died in my arms. I gave her life to bring her back. And you killed her again! I think we made him mad. The maid has been vanquished. Despair creation. This is my world. Come and play with me. Oh no. The cellar triggered another memory. Another agony. It looks like the child is the next boss, to be honest. Which scares me, because I thought he was the last boss, to be honest. Um, I do want to look at her, because first of all, awesome model. Not anything like the other daughters. So, Mo. Deal 900 damage in a zone, 960. Deal 512 damage and shred 30 armor to target, has a range of 3. Steals 85 armor, then do 62 damage 12 times. So that's 700 and some damage, like 730. Deals up to 180 damage, then steals 30 armor each 15 initiative units, up to 3 times. And Dance of Binding. Interrupt the first action of an enemy and deal up to 1042 damage. All of these are really good. So... Let's um let's see what the synapses have for us because I don't see us making it very far to be honest even with this new daughter. Penance gives 1500 experience. Jeez. Um I'm I'm going to stick in the hunt though just so no one gets left behind in a bad situation. Yeah, Sincere is almost dead. Blanc is almost dead. Hope has half health. So we'll see what Candid, I'm I'm not sure how to pronounce that actually, can do. We will bring Celeste, and then we will bring Hope. We must prepare to pay any price. No child built this. Suffering did. Yeah, there are more, um... Around now? These... Ravagers. And then we got Plague Reaper, Plague Prophet, Curse Witch, Curse Witch. So nothing new, but a lot more prevalent for sure. That takes HP to do. See how this works. Hmm. So I wonder if that gives her permanent armor for the fight. I revel in her strength. So we're gonna try to speed her up. Just because we saw how bonkers that is. Actually, if it's in the zone, I wonder. I I just have okay. I see how it works. I 
I am gonna try to kill that one on, on Hope's turn. No, that'd be too late. Bitter victory. More forgotten pain. Doubt this will hit him, but we can try. Oh, you know what? I forgot to check if we can actually, um, make these Scythe Masters now. Or, uh, Scythe Dancer, rather. It stands to reason that we can, but... That's a good chunk of her health. So that's him out of the way now. So we're still gonna have to kill him with her. But I kinda wanna try out some of these other attacks. Like steel armor. It doesn't say temporary. And then can she do nope. So we'll have to see if that goes away now. Ever. No mercy. Because if that doesn't go away, that makes her really broken. And on subsequent eras, I could see a case of just using a team of them. What is that? My daughters. What has suffering done? Oh... Oh no... So is this a shield bearer, but... Yep. Just more broken version of ours. Okay. A lot of health, too. Wow. Let's see if we can't get rid of her. That's that one gone. We have to teach him to stop. Um. They have a huge movement. 
Like, that is ridiculous. I have a plan. Kind of stupid, but... his armor. Regret. Oh, there's some a face right there. I didn't notice that. Spirit haste hope. And hope this kills him. Her. Well, that's why I also have this. Now that that's out of the way... Spirit haste her. Go here. We can take him out and probably end. You know, first thing is... A bad point... But I still don't see her armor going down. That's a permanent throughout the fight, I think. That is broken. Alright, so... attack after this too. No more grasping mandibles. I revel in her strength. We can end Hope's turn, Celeste goes, pop 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 pop. More forgotten pain. Curse Witch goes away. I think that's right. Yes. Alright. I'm good with that. How foolish my fear. She comes ever close. We do what we must. Celeste leveled up. That's good. They're closer to getting a new skill. Uh, we are going to rest and get a new event. A mystery has emerged from the void. All damage increases by 20% until we get to the boss. Time slips by. Oh, begrudging. All, isn't that what we had before? All units begin their turn with, begin their turn delayed by 20% or 20 initial points after ending their turn. Yeah, that's what we had before. Why didn't it say adrenaline? Um, so, once again... That, is that catch-22 of, I want to do that rescue. I really, really do. And it would be really good for me because, like, Blanc can't take any more. And I could heal her. Um, Hope is not looking good. Sincere is not looking good. But whoever I sacrifice to make that mission go well... 
is basically gone forever so I can heal someone else, or that's who I'm bringing back. That's how I'm looking at it, because it's an impossible mission with all the stuff that I'm already having trouble with, and it's going to continuously spawn. Otherwise, I can do a hard hunt and just keep moving. Which, while well, not the greatest choice, I can learn how to use the Scythe Dancer a little more. I guess... And at this point, like, at least I have one daughter of every class kind of to start with now because I have a really good soul slinger. I have a really good blade master. I have a really good shield bearer if I can level her up and bring her back. So. We delve All right. deep into the Nine enemies. Hole. What is this? That is terrifying. Uh, what skill upgrades did it get? Slightly more armor and initiative. And it can swap. Okay. Alright, so... Nine enemies, three and two. Doesn't. A bitter victory. Can get rid of that one. How much health does he have? Two thousand five hundred. He can dodge. Gonna make sure he doesn't do anything. I didn't like him to begin with, and now I really don't like him. My perfect daughter. All right. Um. That's going to hurt. Alright, so he has 82 armor. And we're going to steal it. So she can take out a Reaper in one turn. That's pretty amazing. Another terror to haunt us. I kind of figured that was going to happen. More forgotten pain. Three enemies left, four enemies left. We're gonna get away from them because we're already bursting. Alright. That is frightening. Will the poor one's suffering never end? And ravagers, okay. Pieces of broken souls. To 
rid of this one. Keep moving to help. It will reap what suffering has sown. Now we just gotta deal with that creeper. And then the Reaper, which I think we can do. Get rid of his armor. rid of him. No mercy. And she's not in range to do that, right? Okay. And just out of range to do anything there. But if I did this Nope, still not enough. I tried. This is gonna hurt. Eh, not as much as I thought. She still can't move, though. I don't like that. Spirit haste again. Guess we don't need to spirit haste, she goes soon enough. Much health? 82. We're not gonna get there fast enough, but we can do this to test it out. Five hundred and forty armor. Well. There's one thing we know how to do. She has so much armor at this point. Shred a bit more. Just for when this goes off. I don't think she can do anything. <laughs> well, I have to say, I really like these Scythe Dancers. They are very broken. And now, like, I'm gonna take more. This is gonna be a perpetual thing. Of who gets more armor. And hers is permanent. She has 370 some armor now. This is ridiculous. I 
guess we're gonna intercept him because we can. So hope is down. That's not great. I cherish the strength she summons with each step. What trait did we get though? Prodigy. Critical chance plus 10%. So that's 10, 20. So she has a 20% extra critical chance on top of all her critical damage. Yeah, 29% critical chance. That's insane. Um, Oh, you know what? I'm forgetting to check. The birthing pool here. Give I th life to our daughters. think I still give its level 4 now no matter what. Please but guide her well. Scythe Dancer unlocked. The Scythe Dancer is a new daughter class. She is deadly against heavily armored enemies and grows more powerful as the battle rages on. Now, unleash her on any who stand in her way. Yeah, she still starts at level 4. But we get to choose skills now. The Reaping, that one that steals armor, or gain an initiative boost every time an ally is attacked. Oh, there could be a case made for either one of them, but if you're using the Reaping right like I was, and Dancer of Revenge takes health, so I, I think the Reaping... I guess she's gonna be a new placeholder because yeah wow I I don't see us making it to the fourth day of this era um I'm gonna end this episode here it's been a little bit of a long episode now I'm gonna try to get to the boss in the next episode both unveil him and fight him but depending upon how things go this era is throwing everything in the kitchen sink at us so uh i don't know how that's gonna work out um but it's basically gonna work like the last era where like i'm gonna fight him on day four because uh, i don't think we're gonna have the resources on day seven i'm not gonna go into every single synapse because once again we're not gonna have the resources unless we do a new recollection it, it's just not going to be something we can do and sustain if we don't go for the throat right now we're not going to get it we, we can't do a long drawn out fight in this anymore because of lack of daughters and we can't level things up really anymore without like drawing it on to the point where it won't work i think that's where i'm at so hopefully in the next episode we will see the child's video more about him maybe in the story and then also see the fight with him see how it works i doubt i'll beat him if that's the case we then get a lot of stuff to do a new recollection and come back with a lot better of a team so with that being said I hope you all enjoying this. I know it's kind of taken a turn from more prepared. I know what I'm doing to I really hope this works. And if it doesn't, I don't know what we're doing because we're just kind of running out of resources. So um, with that being said, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and have a good one.